Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> What's up? Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. <laughs> awesome. How's it going? All okay. Okay, everything. Come on Monday. Everything is okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, start the class. Say hello to your classmates. I want to hear you guys. Come on. Hi, guys. Good evening to all of you. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Anna. Okay. She'll be able to say hello at this point during intermediate. Don't forget. Okay, let's do the attendance first so we can move on with the class, okay? Okay, um, let me see, let me get this ready. Today is just our third class, third class. I can't believe it. Okay, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. You, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides e Isabel Martínez. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Iliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Good. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. But I saw it somewhere, but no. Okay, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Is there? Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Excellent. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Enrina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Rina is not here. Hi, Carol. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys. Where were we? Where were we? We, we were, were talking. talking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> We're talking about a new product and the steps uh, for lunch. Lunch uh, product. Okay, and the step, repeat, and the steps to launch or the steps for launching? To launch for launching. Okay, good. That's true, right? Okay, so we perform, we order some topics, right? The business analysis, test marketing, the idea generation, lounge, product development, all of that good stuff. Let me, okay, now we have to sketch the concept of a product line. Let me see. Okay, let's do this. You're going to end up like gringos after this class, after this module. Okay, blonde and everything. Okay, so what's our mission? 
in this class, we will be able to sketch the concept of a product line. Sketch the pro concept. What do you understand by sketch? Maybe drawing. Boceto. It's like ah. a, 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 to, uh, Boceto. template for doing a that. Template. Uh, listen, everybody. That is a synonym of sketch template. Yeah, it's like drawing a template. Thank you for saying, yeah, yeah, that's a template of, or, you know, something. You can do a template of something, an idea. Okay. It's like the first thing that you do actually when you come up with an idea. I like my, my father in law, <clears throat> my father in law gets anything, anything he has around. When he's given a direction, when he's given an address, he goes like, look, this, this is um, the pharmacy, right? And this is the, 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 the supermarket, okay? So here's the supermarket, here's the pharmacy. So you go around the supermarket and he's using objects and I'm like, okay, that's a sketching. <laughs> okay. That's a skin. <laughs> He's like drawing, drawing, or my seven-year-old, my, my nine-year-old, I have a nine-year-old kid, and he goes like, mom, look, primero tenés que dibujar esto, así, mira, mirame pues, así, mira, y le hacía así, y después, and I'm like, what? <laughs> drawing in the air, that's yes. a sketch, <laughs> it's so funny. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Have you ever heard, have you ever heard the expression Product line? Anybody? Can you describe yeah. what is a product? Uh, product line. When, when, when we buy something uh, for each product, we we add a new product line, for example. Mm -hmm. It's uh, part of the company when we uh, create your this guy I, I think is for it's, manufacturing is for manufacturing yes okay. it's part of the company yes okay so what else go deeper guys it's, come on it's a different context think 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 go deeper describe a little bit more you can do it mm. It's like a, a category. A category. A category. Now let's continue. Or, Maybe if we continue yeah. reading, if we continue reading, can you mention the name of three product lines? Oh, have you purchased any product lately? One that belongs to a famous product line? Okay, so we are not talking about the physical space of the production line, which is something else. The production line is where everything is put together, right? Of a product. It's an assembly line. It's an assembly line. That's a production line. Huh. It's a production line. What is a product line then? Um, for example, I like to use head and shoulders. Do you like head and shoulders? Not uh, really. Women, <laughs> women are like tres, tres M or uh -huh. right. okay, that's more famous. So they have a product line for your hair. Okay, what else? What other? Let, let's mention three product lines all together. Mm. I uh, mentioned hair and shoulders. What do you think? Um, for example, uh, Scott. Uh, Scott? Uh, the, Scott, the, uh, toilet the paper. paper, toilet, toilet, toilet paper. paper. Yes. Uh huh. Ada says shoes. Yes. Shoes. Uniform. <laughs> shoes. Like. Nike. 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 Nike has a product line for actually Nike. They have women line, men's line, sport line, climbing lines. I mean, they have every sport, right? Specifically for every sport product lines for each port. Let's talk about that. And have you purchased any product lately? One that belongs to a famous product line? 
So let's have a small conversation for five minutes. We're not gonna take too long on this and we'll move on, okay? So I'll send you this to your WhatsApp so you can reply it. But guys, I beg you, it's time for you to speak. Don't stay quiet, okay? You gotta talk, talk, talk. Let's go. Okay. I don't know. All right, you girls. Girls. This is the I just arrived in a home. We can hear you very well. Okay. So let's start. Have you ever heard the Spanish from Product Line? Can you mention the name? Three products lines. Johnny. Adida. Yes, Adida. Adi, Adida line. Oh, I don't know how you say Adidas is pronunciation. <laughs> but okay. shoes. Hello. That's the product line. Super. <laughs> You mentioned your The cell phone, the Apple and Huawei, and Huawei. Huawei, iPhone, yes. Is internet claro, Tigo? Claro, Tigo. Movistar. Yes. Mm. yes. Is the food? Uh, Burger King, Wendy's, Papa yes. John's. Is the is the moda? <laughs> yes, and you, Isela. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm arriving at home. Just give me a moment. Okay. Okay. Relax. Okay, so should we continue the second question? Is the products medic medicals and vitam vitaminas? Medical medical products? Medical pro vitamin? vitamins? Vitamins. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Vitamins. They have a lot of product lines like um, I don't know. Oh. Uh, maybe, yeah. Is this good, Ada? Yes, teacher. That's good, right? Okay. It's, pre it's prefer injection. I know. No, shots. Yes, teacher. I don't like shots. Too many shots already. How can I remove this, um, Ada? What is that? You the whole thing. Un quiste sinovial. <laughs> Isn't it el túnel carpiano? No. No, quiste sinovial. <laughs> really? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't bother me. I do exercise and... Uh -huh. it's, yeah. Hay que drenarlo. Uh, oh, oh, it's drained. Yes, pequeña cirugía. Actually, it's, it's hard. Duro, it's, duro, duro. it's hard. Mm -hmm. mm, I'll text you, okay? I'll text yeah. you so you can tell me where I can go. Okay. Mada is a good doctor. I know, I know. She recommended something like last time and was really good. I'll text you, Ada. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Free, free evaluation. Free evaluation. Okay, okay. guys. Please. How about the car? For example, Mercedes Benz produce cars. They produce um, sport lines. Mm -hmm. Luxury, luxury lines. Mm -hmm. Right. We are what talking else? about. We are talking about um, 
like Samsung, they not only produce smartphones. They not only, uh, they not only produce smartphones. What else do they produce? For example, in my house, there is a wash machine. Samsung. Mm -hmm. Smart TV too. Uh, for example, we we are talking about la constancia. I say that they produce sodas, beers, and juice. Sodas, beers, and juice. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Keep it up, keep it up. Think about other product lines. Actually, our... Yes. Actually, our sure questions. But tell me, have you ever heard the expression product line? Can you mention the name of three product lines? Mm. Well, Samsung. Everybody's talking about Samsung. <laughs> yeah, Samsung. What's wrong with Samsung? What lines, what product lines do they have? Uh, they have uh, smartphones. They have earphones. Uh, they have um, uh, TVs, TVs, refrigerators. Refrigerators, uh huh. Refrigerators, uh, Ref washing machine. Free refrigerators. Ref refrigerators. There you go. Refrigerators, refrigerators. Wa washing machines. Washing, washing machines. Washing, washing machines. machines. Washing machines. Samsung mm -hmm. has a lot of product lines. Yeah, but that's like the home line, right? <gasps> that is home, home electronics. Yes. White line is applicable in this context? It depends. Uh, if you refer to the home line products line, they have a white line for home yes. electronics. Yes. Okay. 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 Have you purchased any product lately? Have you, per have you purchased? Purchased. Purchased. Have you purchased any any product lately? Mm. One of that belongs to a famous product line. Famous. Famous. The famous. most the most recently famous. the most product, recent uh, the most recent product that I I bought but? is but is mm. is a keyword uh, from the title that keyword is if or for dictating the dictating is, no no uh, that that keyword is a, a racer brand racer is the name of the brand of, the, of that keyword mm. they have a, a product lines about uh, mouse keyboards Headsets. Wait, 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 wait. They have a product lines. They have product lines. They have for... product lines. They have product lines. Product lines for what? For keyboards, mouses. headsets, mouses. I'm sorry, mice. Mice. Okay. Mice. Yeah, the plural of mouse is mice. Ah, okay. Mice, uh, water cooling. Yeah. A lot of product about computers. Awesome. What about Dell? Dell. Dell has business lines, um, gamers, business. It's, it's, um, it's not for business, I think. Uh, they have a uh, product line for gamers too. What other business lines do you think they, I'm sorry, what other product lines do they have? They have a consumer line, which is the most basic laptop or computer most basic yes. PCs, then they have the business lines, which are uh, about servers, servers, servers. For 
That's right. Uh, and for gamers and graphic designers, they have the they have the XPS. Yes. XPS. Yeah. And Alienware. And okay. Alienware. Alienware. Uh, HP is the ensembler. Oh. Of what? Alienware. No, no, no. Alienware is a uh, is another. It's another brand. It, it <laughs> was. It used to be it, another it, brand, but then Dell bought Alienware. You know, Alienware started in Puerto Rico, I think. Hey, in Puerto Rico, it was a group of three guys, just three guys, getting orders to build the cases. You used to send the specifications, what kind of graphics card, what kind of hard drive, everything, and they used to build the computer for you and send it back to you. I didn't know. That was crazy. So that was and, and, amazing. And now that computers are very are very expensive, <laughs> but are more they, expensive and are not the same quality. Mm, I never. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I actually I never. Honestly, I haven't. I have never. I have never owned. Uh, Oh, uh, 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 and, and anyway, I used to work for Dell and work on those computers on the hardware. It was amazing. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Sandra, come on. Mm. Oh, her microphone. Okay. I have about headphones. Uh, accessories for car, uh, bed, um, television, um, only. That's only. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Give me. Okay. Give me one second. Let me go with the last group. Okay. Hello, Alan. Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing great. What about you? Oh, a little bit lazy. Oh, come on. Cheer up. We're talking about product lines. Uh, many, many of your classmates are talking about Samsung. How Samsung has many product lines. Cell phones, mm -hmm. smartphones, TVs, washing machines. It, it sounds like, uh, for example, uh, a sport... Uh, 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 so for example, Adidas, Nike, or something like that. But each company it has its own line, right? For example, my wife works um, uh, manufacturing women underwear. Women underwear. The the brand of the women underwear. This is a commercial. Is Silene? <laughs> Silene. <laughs> it's Silene. Rina, Carol, no, Silene. No. At the super super selectors, no, no. It's called Silene. Industria Horma is the name of the company, and they have the product line. They have brass. They have tongas. <laughs> tongas. That's a difficult word. Uh, they have len. Um, how do we call this lenceria? Lingerie. 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 Uh, they have also all kinds of clothes for for women and they are manufacturing underwear for men too boxers and things like that but they have a line of product for each person you know it's, it's very good so the same happens with samsung for example they have the line of uh products for home right they have the cell phones i think they're building cars as well samsung was building cars it was crazy Ooh, that's Google does. I mean, everybody's going on the car business. Okay, you have the idea. So, what about what about Toyota? Mm, I like they have a, a, a robotic uh, line or something like that. Yeah, but it's, they have a yeah. robotic line, mm -hmm. but the kind of cars, that's a very clear example. Do you have sports cars? Luxury, luxury, luxury cars. SUVs. SUVs. Mm -hmm. Four by fours. Pickups. Yeah. Trucks. Even 
No, Toyota trailers. I've never seen a Toyota trailer mm -hmm. or a no, bus no. or a bus. Never. But by, by the way, Caterpillar has uh, a, their own uh, how can I, wearables, wearables or warehouse. No, no. Uh, they have their own line of uh, t-shirts or oh yes uh, they have their own watch. clothes clothing clothing it, even um, though even though they produce truck too and they only produce trucks yeah industrial equipment too industrial equipment awesome you see those are product lines that was the whole point let's go back okay what do you produce at corpo what what's the name of your company <laughs> carolyn <laughs> Uh, in Spanish <laughs> or in English? <laughs> in English, but what's the name of your company? Uh, industry, industry corporation. Like that, in, industry corporation. And in English. Yeah, but industria corporativa. That's it. Really? Uh, Corporación industrial. Really? That's that's an irony for a name. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Sounds very corporate. So, do you manufacture something, or are you just a corporation of companies? I'm, I'm lost. Do you manufacture? Uh, do you manufacture something? No. No? no. Okay. I don't know which is the story. <laughs> What's the story about it? <laughs> find find out, and you tell me. Okay, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> let's go back. It's not me. Oh, that's weird. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Okay, um, so what did you find out? What product lines did you find? I saw you, every, everybody was talking about Samsung, about cars, about many things. Come on. Is there a product line in a pupuseria? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Doña Blanca. <laughs> No, but those are different product brands. No, we're not talking about brands, or maybe. But what about Mr. Donut? Do they have product lines? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For example? Uh, donuts? Donuts is a product line? No, that is a product. Bakery? Uh, yes, that maybe. could be a yeah, yeah, bakery. We're getting there. Okay. Mm, uh, beverage. Uh, Beverages. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they, they only produce food, right? That's it. That's their product line. Food. Different styles of food. Cakes. That's it. I was given the idea of cars, you know. And Alan was saying something about Caterpillar. Mm. Caterpillar. Okay. okay. Caterpillar have shoes. They have shoes. Bags. Backpacks. 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 Uh huh. Okay. But um, they they manufacture vehicles. I mean trucks. Yeah. Trucks. Now the truck line has different lines of products like indus industrial trucks. Mm. Okay, trucks to work on the fields, farmer trucks, etc. Right? Okay. 
Does Caterpillar produce regular cars? Do they produce regular cars? No, they don't. Okay. And I was telling Alan that I have never seen, uh, or someone, uh, I never seen a Toyota bus, a Toyota, a Toyota trailer. I never seen a Toyota trailer, have you? Mm. Oh, right. They don't have that product never. line. They don't have that product line. Okay, so that's the idea, guys. That was the idea. Right? Somebody's having a great conversation about their father and everything. Okay, good. Let's continue. So, help me reading. Um, Johnny. Uh, Alejandro has created a new pat sandwich for his cafeteria. Cafeteria. Papa Fat. Papa Fat Food. And his, his dad thing is uh, not worth adding any more product to the menu. Read a conversation and answer the question below. Close, very close, good. Hey, final sounds, thinks. Jenny? Thinks. His dad thinks. thinks it's not worth, repeat, his dad thinks it's not worth adding more, any he, more products to the menu. His dad thinks it's not worth adding any more products to the menu. Final sound, things, things, things. Repeat, things. read. Read. Answer. Answer. There you go. The questions below. So let's see. Dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa's Sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. 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 Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? But dad, our clients love every single product we've come up with. Again, the dad, our clients love every single product we have come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work again but i don't want to what but i don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and i'm not working over time if you think it's going to work i'm sorry if you think it's going to work uh, we're missing the two here guys if you want to add it on your book we're missing the preposition two if you think it's going to work you're probably right. You're probably right. Okay, I need two volunteers. Number. What? Who said me? Me, Fernando. Me, Fernando, and me. Alex. Mi Carolina, okay. Mi Fernando and Mi Carolina. One, two, three, action. <laughs> Uh, that I decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger. Papa's fries, 
Come on, young man. You lost your mind. But that our clients love every single product we we we've, we've come up with. We've come up come up with. with. Uh -huh. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. I am not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Sink. Excellent. Okay, just correct your book. We're missing the two here. Going to work. Going to work. Okay, it's going to work. Hey, come on. Sales. Sales. Be sales. careful. Yeah, because there's a difference between sales and sales. Okay. Okay. Um, et cetera. You say et cetera. Et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> Come on, etc. etc. There. I think. I think. I think. Oh, be careful. You're saying, and this is why I'm correcting you, because you're saying sink. Okay, and there's a difference between sink and remember. Acuérdense que la TH es una Z. It's important. Okay. Think. Okay. I think. 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 There you go. I think. I think. I think. I think. Okay. There you go. Sounds better. Think. Asegúrate de sacar la lengua. Soplar un poquito mientras que introducir la lengua de regreso. Think. 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 Ahorita exagera. Think. Think. There you go. Ves, ves que se funciona. Very good. Okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yep. Johnny. What's the meaning? Come up. Oh, ah, what's the meaning of come we've up come up with? Come up with, invent. Uh huh. It's like invent everything, every single product we've come up with. Surgir cuando una idea te surge. Es como um, cuando tienes una idea, prácticamente. You come up with make up. You make up something out of nowhere. Okay. You come up with okay. an idea. Okay. Ojo, eh, dependerá del contexto. Ok. Eh, ya, yeah, I don't know. I can't think about an example right now. Ok, so let's go. This is page 12. Make sure you repeat, repeat, repeat with your classmates until you get it. Any new word or any difficult word in this reading? Other than we've come up with, we've come up with, we've come up with. No, notice the difference when I say with, with, and with, 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 with. Okay, with, with, con, with, 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 come up with, with, come up with. There you go. Come up with. Uh -huh. Y traten de los sonidos siempre, acuérdense. I don't want to. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. You can say want to hear. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear you complain. I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. Okay. Let's do it. Repeat, 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 repeat. Don't stop. How many are we? We are. 17. Okay. Let's do it. Hiya. Hiya, Miguel. Hello, Hi, Hello Carolina. Hello. Hello. Practice. Hello, everybody. Uh, hello. Okay, page number 12. Yeah. Okay, I start. Dad, 
I've decided. Decided. I've decided. Decided. I I've decided. decided to launch the new Papat sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more souls. Alejandro, we we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, how you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product. We've we've come, I we've we come back, we come we come, back. We, we come we, we, we come with, with, come up with. with. Ah, yeah. We have always sold yeah. everything we offer. Besides, I think I think it's about time for a product line, station, and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm, and I'm not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably, you, you're probably, probably. right. 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 Okay. Right. Okay. Come, on, Come okay. Uh, me, Alejandro, uh, that. I did decide to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Capture. Capture. Me. Capture. 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 We sell so many products already. Papa burgers, Papa's fries, Papa salad, Papa uh, chicken, sorry, et cetera. Um, Come on, young. Okay. I'm sorry. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? Mind. mind. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. Branch of branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not working overtime. If you think it is going to work, you are probably right. Of course. Okay. We can switch or, or, or I think that can switch. Um, Switch Carmen. with Sandra. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I am I, I, Alejandro. Okay, Dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popu popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already Papa's burger, Papa's free, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Coming what you you may have you lost your mind. But that our clients love every single product we come with, we come up with, we have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I am and I'm not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you probably like. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Michelle is going to be Alejandro. Yeah. That I've been, um, I think, I'm sorry. I've decided to launch the new Papa Sandwich. It is going to make your brand more popular 
and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? Uh, okay. The way I don't but want to. I don't want, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Ah. But I don't, don't want to. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> Why? No, it says, but I don't want to hear you. Uh, okay. But I don't want to uh, hear you. But I don't want to hear you. But I don't want to hear you. Uh, hear, but I hear. don't want to hear you. But I don't want to hear you. Hear. Hear. But I don't want to hear you. Better. But, but I don't want to hear you. But I don't want to hear you. But I don't want to hear you. Hear you. Hear you. Hear you. Uh huh. <laughs> but I don't want to hear you. Complaining about. I mean, complain about having so much work. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you. Complain about having. So Complain much. Complain about having, having so much work. And I'm not working. Over. And I'm not working over, over time. If you think it's gonna work, it's going to work. You're probably right. Okay, it's going to work or it's going to work. Okay, you're probably right. Do it again. Right. Okay. So if they say to dance, the new purpose. Side, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain mm -hmm. about having so much work and I am not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay. Okay. Dad, I have decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Sellers. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa, Papa's burger, Papa's fried, Papa's salads, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, your man. How you lost your mind, but that our clients love every single produce we have come on, come on, come on with. We had always sold everything we offer besides, besides this. I think it's about time for produce line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't, I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And um, I'm working overtime. If you think it's going, to, it's going to work, you are probably right now. No, you are probably right. Okay. Okay, now we can start again one by one. Okay. I will be Alejandro. And me, Dad. Okay. Dad, I have decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It is going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa burgers, Papa fries, Papa salads, Papa's chicken, etc. Come on, you men. How you lost your mind? But that our clients love every single product we have come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it is about time for a product line, extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but but I don't I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work. And I'm not working overtime. If you think it's going to work, you, you are probably right. Okay. Johnny, now you are Alejandro, and I will be the dad. Okay. Dad, I 
decide to launch a new papa sandwich, it's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burgers, papa's fries, papa's salad, papa's chicken, etc. Come on, young man, have you lost your mind? But that our client love every single product will come out with, we had always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. Yes, you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I am not working overtime. Is you think? Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So yes. if you can see my only face, try to repeat with me. You say decided. 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 Mm -hmm. decided. Better, very good. You say decided. 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 You say sales. Sales. Don't say sales. Uh -uh. Sales is when you go in boat and you sail. Sales. Okay. Okay. Sales. Así como se oye. Sales. 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 Mm -hmm. Pro products. Pro products. Products. Si es una U, pero bien suave. Products. 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 Es más importante el sonido de la K. Product. 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 Make it little. Product. Product. Okay. Fries. 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 Este grupo tiene un área de oportunidad específicamente en los sonidos finales de las palabras. No me pronuncian la S al final de las palabras cuando sea en plural. Fries. 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 Uh -huh. Intonation. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Okay. Have you lost your mind? ¿Cuántas veces no les han dicho eso los que trabajan en el center, los clientes? Be? Have you lost your mind? Are, are you out of your mind? Esa es otra forma de decirlo. Are you out of your mind? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Que es una forma, right. otra forma de decir, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Okay. Have you lost your mind? Okay. Good. We've come up with. Oh. We've, 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 we've come up with. Come up with. Come up with. With. Come up with. With. Come up with. Come up with. Good. With. Come up okay. with. We've come up with. We've come up with. Okay. Besides, no puedo creer que varios estaban diciendo visites todavía. Come on, guys. Besides, besides, this is a connector. Okay. Besides, otra cosa. La mayoría me está diciendo everything. Every. No tengo la diferencia. Everything. Mm -mm. Everything. Thing. Thing. Cada vez que tenés una TH, se ve una AZ. Al final de las palabras, a veces soplas, a veces no. So everything, everything. Okay. Ahora, les decía, traten de unir las palabras. I don't wanna. Al decir wanna, estoy diciendo want to. Want to. I don't wanna hear. 
Esta palabra se dice here. Here. No, hombre, teacher, pero here es here de aquí. Lo mismo. Se pronuncia igual. Ok. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear you complain. I don't want to hear you complain. I don't want to hear you complain. Ok. Next. Right. Y esto ya te lo tendrías que haber memorizado. Cuando hay una R al principio de una palabra en inglés, no existe la R, existe la R. Ok. Right. Perfect. There you go. Haces como un máximo esfuerzo para pronunciar la R. Y tu boca siempre va a formar una U. Right. Right. Rock. Reduce. Run. Run. Robert. Al final de las palabras, si es una R, va a pasar que tu lengua se va a enrollar hacia atrás. ¿Ok? Como car. Car. Ahí, clarísimo. Enrollar la lengua. Car. Later. Later. ¿Ok? And so on. Siguiente palabra. Hour. Hour. Nombre teacher, pero eso suena ahora. Hour. ¿Ya? Yeah? Hour, hours, hour, hours, lo mismo. Hour, hours, hour, hours, hour, hours. Ok. Hour, hours. Ok, y decía, sonido finales. Está en plural, digo clients. Clients. Ok. Y de nuevo, es una Z, entonces esto no lo leo como think, sino como think. 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 Exagera. Think. Think. Saca la lengua. Soplas un poco mientras la lengua se reintroduce en tu boca. Think. 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 ¿Ok? ¿Got it? Yeah. Got it. Questions. ¿Alguna duda con alguna palabra que ustedes tengan dificultad para pronunciar? Repeat. Not that I can think of. Not that I can think of now. Not that I can think of at the moment. Repeat. Not that I can think of at the moment. Not that I can think of at the moment. Not that I can think of at the moment. Good. Not that I can think of at the moment. Not that I can think of at the moment. Hmm. Not that I can think of at the moment. Not that I can think of at the moment. Think it of. Think it of the moment. 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 Estos ejercicios son buenísimos para que practiques y te desenrolles la lengua, que es muy importante a este nivel, ¿ok? Not that I can think of the moment. Not that I can think of the moment. Sounds like a tongue twister, right? Ok. Good. So, no new words on that. Let's do the attendance one more time. It's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday, no, on a Monday, right? Oh, Ada oh. Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. <laughs> Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Present teacher. Oh, good. Okay. Evelyn Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. ¿Qué dije? Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. <laughs> ya vino Elvin. Is Elvin here? No, he's not here. Okay, good. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Is Fátima with us today? No. Okay, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Excellent. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Estaba por acá, Miriam. Miriam, 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 Miriam. No, 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 no
good. Um, René Alfonso, Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Omaña Orellana. Por ahí está. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Where's William? William is not with us again. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys, let me just double check what we have next. Okay, the next topic, it's out of the context of the previous conversation, actually, but give me one second. Well, let's follow the plan. Okay, vamos a hablar de, de algo de gramática, okay? Y necesito que me ayuden a analizarlo. Porque necesito que ustedes lo entiendan ante todo. Okay. Really quick. So, how to use reduced adverb clauses of time? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. So, ¿qué son los adverbios, las cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo? Que se introducen por before, after, since, and while. Hay una manera de reducir estas cláusulas modificando las frases adverbiales. ¿Cuáles son esas? Ok. Se introducen por after, before, ok, since, and while. So, eh, estos ejemplos, estos ejemplos de, de oraciones vienen de la, de este reading, pero toca cubrir ahora la gramática antes de ver el reading en la siguiente clase. So, after we conduct a SWOT analysis, y SWOT es el FODA, ¿verdad? Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, okay? Foda, lo mismo, fortalezas, Foda. debilidades, mm -hmm. oportunidades, y amenazas. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Okay, so after we conduct a SWOT analysis. ¿Cómo se mueve cuando se pasa de una cláusula adverbial a una frase? Aquí falta la R, ojo. Adverb phrase. Ok. Noten la diferencia. ¿Qué notan de diferente? After we conduct a SWOT analysis. After conducting a SWOT analysis. SWOT. Object. Disappear. Ah, and disappear. add ING. Disappear. And you add ING. As simple as that. Se mira complicado, pero es tan fácil como eso. Ok. Y ahí está la explicación. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Claudia Maricela, ¿me podría traducir al español castellano esto que dice acá? To reduce an adverb class. Let's go. Ok. Dice, reduciendo en adverbio las clausas en los párrafos, tú debes de seguir. Los, tú debes de seguir. Elimina el sujeto en el verbo de la cláusula. Y si tu cláusula ha formado un verbo en ser o estar, elimínalo. Y su cláusula tiene algún otro adverbio diferente del be, del ser o estar, agrega ING. Uh -huh. Son condicionantes eso. Sí, la cláusula. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Eliminar el sujeto. En la cláusula adverbio, ok, que era lo que señalaron los compañeros, ok, elimina el sujeto, chivo. Si la cláusula tiene una forma del verbo to be, lo eliminamos. En este caso había, no, no había. Ok, si la cláusula tiene alguna otra forma diferente al verbo to be, agrega CNG. Ok, entonces conduct lo paso a conducting. Simple as that. Eliminar el sujeto y pasar el verbo, si no es el verbo to be, pasarlo a ING. So far, so good, right? Mm, I was confused. Sí, sí, se confunde uno fácilmente. A ver, otra vez. No está el verbo to be en esta oración. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, mm -hmm. so no me complico. Vaya, entonces dice que voy a eliminar el sujeto 
lo quité. Y el verbo principal lo voy a pasar a ING. Uh -huh. Okay. After conducting a SWOT analysis. En lugar de after we conduct a SWOT analysis, after conducting. Ya no importa el sujeto, sino la acción. Simple uh -huh. as that. Ok, eso continúa siendo lo mismo, no nos metemos en eso, nos importa la primera parte de la oración. Ahora, the reduction is only possible when the subject of the verb, of the adverb clause and the independent clause are the same. Ah, cuando el sujeto de la cláusula adverbial, ok, es la misma que la otra cláusula, que la cláusula independiente, porque ese es independiente. ¿Por qué es independiente una cláusula, una oración? Si tú la lees por sí sola, tiene sentido. ¿Ok? Sin embargo, esta es una cláusula adverbial porque necesita, está atada a la que le sigue. ¿Ok? Si lees, después de conducir un FODA, un análisis FODA. Si yo solo te digo, después de conducir un análisis FODA, te vas a quedar esperando, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué pasa después? Ok, ah, ok, pero si solo te digo sabremos si continuar o parar con este proyecto, sabremos si continuar o parar con este proyecto ya tiene un poco más de sentido, puedo decirte solo eso y tiene sentido, ¿ya? ¿Got it? Mm, sí. Es lo mismo que en el español o sea, si solo digo una parte de la oración no tiene sentido, o si yo una sola parte puede que tenga sentido. O sea, esta complementa a la otra. Ese es el punto, ¿ok? So, dice acá que si solo es posible, si la cláusula independiente tiene el mismo sujeto. Ok, sí lo tiene. Oui, oui. Ok. Puedo removerlo del principio. ¿Qué es el punto general de este punto gramatical? ¿Para qué voy a decir we aquí? Suena redundante volverlo a decir en la oración independiente. ¿Ok? Ese es el punto. No sonar redundante o evitarlo en la medida de lo posible moviendo al gerundio el verbo principal. Más fácil así, ¿no? Está más explicado así. ¿Ok? So, veamos más ejemplos. Before we make a decision. ¿Ok? Quito el sujeto porque es el mismo Okay. Ahí está el sujeto, lo quito. El sujeto lo quito. Ok. Ya no está acá. Ahora modifiqué make y lo puse como making. Before making a decision. Ahora, ¿qué ocurre acá en la tercera opción? Before the new product projects, before the new product project gets a green light. We still need to beat the threats from outside. Aquí se perdió la lógica porque ¿cuál es el sujeto acá? The new product. Eh, y pasando a sujeto, a sujeto pronombre. It. It, it. Ajá, yeah. sería it. Y en cambio aquí, ok, es we. Ya no aplicaría el punto gramatical que estoy viendo. No lo puedo hacer. Por regla general. Ok. Ya no podría decir before getting a green light. Porque ¿cuál es el verbo acá? Get. Get. Uh -huh. Before the new product project. Es, perdón, este era el sujeto completo. Okay. Before the new product project. Get es el verbo principal. Lo tendría que modificar con ING si estuviese siguiendo la regla anterior. Pero como el sujeto en la cláusula independiente no es el mismo. Ya no tiene sentido modificarla. Let's see if you can make it. Ok. Vamos a trabajar juntos. Básense en esto. Eh, traten de entenderlo. Vamos a hacer una ronda de preguntas luego para ver si quedó alguna duda. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta con ese tema. Tal vez al hacer los ejemplos, por eso les quiero enviar a que realicen estos cinco ejemplos y determinen. No todos están mal. Ok. Reduce the adverb clauses to adverb phrases when possible. Cuando, se, cuando sea posible. Quiero que se base en eso. La cláusula independiente tiene el sujeto, el mismo sujeto, la cláusula independiente comparado con la cláusula dependiente. Ok. 
Got it? Got it. Okay, let's see. So this is page 15. Still, I, I will send you the picture to the WhatsApp. Hello. Hello. It's me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Alan, your your microphone. I'm trying to um, listen the explanation again. I'm completely lost. Really? Yes. Okay, intentalo en español. Yo creo que quiero que te quede claro. Okay. ¿Qué entendiste? ¿Qué fue lo que...? A ver, ya les envié los ejemplos ahí al chat. Si alguien puede... Ahí estamos. Muy bien. Eh, página 14. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. There you go. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the adverb clause and the independent clause are the same. At this point, I understand that the subject is appearing. We will use the ing. Okay, necesito que se expliquen entre ustedes si está correcto. O sea, qué es lo que han entendido. Permítanme un minuto. Perdón, tengo que ir a cerrar la ventana porque viene el agua. One second, I'm sorry. So, okay. So he sent also another picture that is on the chat. I think that would be necessary to to read that for that that is for read the statements below. Reduce the upper cost close to adverb phrase when possible. After the product of development team finish brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. Before the manager list uh, the weakness of the company on the slide, we had present uh new products to help the company increase sales andrew keep keep text messaging while he was in a video conference about a prototype for the new product many promo many from many promising products Ideas are rule, rule out loud after they fail to proceed to produce positive results. It is SWOT analysis. The weakness of the company can be transformed into opportunity after a careful Contingent, contingent, contingency plan to um, elevate, 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 then a design. Before you present a new idea, the manager, to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of the costs and benefits. No sé si eso era. Scroll down. I'm sorry. Who's who's showing? 
José Antonio, can you scroll down? Teacher Jocelyn is 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 adding on the WhatsApp chat. If you can please her up to the group number five because she had internet issues. Okay. okay. So um, yeah, Isela was telling you how to do the first sentence. I think um, if you can scroll down, Jose Antonio, move down. Okay, so uh, down, down, down. There you go. After the product development team finish brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. So, identifiquemos los sujetos en esa oración. ¿Cuáles son los sujetos? I'm not good with 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 grammatic grammar with grammar. Y aquí es donde tú tienes que moverte, Isela, a entender lo que estás diciendo. Así fue como yo me volví profesor. Empecé a entender todo lo que decía, o sea, a buscar la gramática. Pues suena aburrido, pero se entretiene uno. Empecé a preguntarte, what did I just say? ¿Qué acabo de decir? Uh, yes, okay. because sometimes when you are when you ask uh, in the class if, if what is the the sentence if it's if it's past part full or present simple, I cannot I cannot answer that question because it's difficult for me the the grammar. Because you're not thinking in Spanish at all, so that's good, but. It will be a good exercise if you identify the, the tense, you know, and the parts of the speech. So after the product development team, okay, dijimos que after era la, el adverbio de tiempo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Lo que le seguiría sería el sujeto porque esto está en presente simple. De hecho, está mal elaborada la, o sea, la, 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 la oración. ¿Por qué? Porque the product development team es el sujeto, ¿verdad, chicos? After the product development team. Ah, Carol. Plural. No, ter tercera persona. The product development team finishes. Brainstorming tendría que decir, ¿sí? ¿Sí o no? Mm. After the product development team. Okay. Uh -huh. Tenía que ser S en el verbo. Finishes, brainstorming. It is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. Ahora, after the... Pensemos, si lo pasamos ahí en el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Finish. Finish, ok. Finish. After the Finish. product development team finishing brains... No, after the... No, no podría eliminar el sujeto. Sí. ¿Por qué? Porque lo están tratando como plural, como decía Carolina. The product development team. They. They finish. Ah, pues sí. Ajá. After they finish brainstorming. Okay. No podría pasar esa cláusula. Um, ok. Hacerla. No aplicaría. No aplicaría la regla. Ok. Before the manager listed the weaknesses of the company on a slide. He had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Before the manager listening. Before the manager listening, listing, listing. Uh -huh, listing. Pasado. Before the manager listing weaknesses of the company on the slide, he had, see, sí, perfect. Ahí sí se puede. A ver que fácil. Before the manager. Ajá, pero tendría que quitar el sujeto, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces. Before listening. Listing. List, oh, listen. Listing. listing. Ajá, solo quitas el ED y pones ING. Before listing the weaknesses of the company on a slide, he had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Correcto. Ahí sí, sí aplica. Ok, keep going with three, four, five, and six. Analyze, analyze. You can do it, guys. You're very smart. Mm -hmm. 
Carolina is going to explain us. <laughs> no, but my my I have a do that. I don't know. Uh, where a I doubt. Apply. A doubt. A doubt. Yes. <laughs> I don't know where to apply. <laughs> when, uh, for example, in the in the first sentence, not apply. In the second. Sí. A ver, en la primera no aplicaba, Caro, porque definimos que the product development team se están refiriendo a eso como they, nos están tratando en plural. No tiene lógica si lo quitamos. No, porque uno es they y en la mm. segunda cláusula dice it. It is essential. Es decir, ya no se está refiriendo al team, sino que a la situación. It is essential. Es esencial nada más. Ok, ajá, por eso ya no, no aplica. En cambio, en la segunda, the manager, y dice he had. Entonces sí, ahí se aplica. Tú lo, tú lo vislumbraste, me llegó. Bueno, José Antonio, creo que José Antonio creo que modificó el verbo. Good. Así míralo, así miremos, lo busquemos los sujetos. Andrew kept, ok, una pregunta. Ahí donde está la cláusula adverbial. Andrew kept text messaging while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Dice la regla que tiene que haber un adverbio de tiempo también. Miren los adverbios de tiempo con los que pueden empezar. Arriba están, ok. Okay, I have to go to another team. After. Ese sí es un perro grande con con voz de Chihuahua. Okay, let's see what we have. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I have a question for the number three. Number three. Ok, ¿qué dice la regla? ¿Qué dice la regla? Primero dice que debe de iniciar, subite un poquito porfa, la, la cláusula adverbial debe de ser introducida por un adverbio de tiempo, es decir, before, after, since, and while. Ok, número tres, ¿cómo empieza la oración? ¿Hay alguna coma dividiéndola? No. No, entonces no aplica. Ah, es que, mm. es que yo tenía la duda porque tenía while. Entonces, como while está como, como. Ah, veamos, Andrew kept text messaging. Well, Pero he no, was no. in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Pero ¿y dónde está, dónde está la, la cláusula independiente ahí? Tendría que estar al principio, ¿verdad? Ajá, no, de último. Algo. Well, he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. No, no, no aplica, no está dentro del formato anterior. Ok, ok. okay. Eh, veo que lograron yes. encontrar la, 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 la dos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. yeah. For listing the weaknesses of the company on the slide, he had a cabal. Y la primera se modificó. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Yo también tengo mis dudas en la 1. Pero vamos a ver. Ok. Number 4. Many promising product ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Man. ¿Por qué? No veo ahí el, ¿Cuál el, es el sujeto? La, la independiente ¿Será que pues, Ajá, no hay, Como tú analizabas antes Alexander, puede ser que después esté el adverbio de, de tiempo, ahí está after, after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis Many promising product ideas are ruled out. Está al revés. Uh -huh. ¿Qué puede ocurrir? After okay. failing. After failing to produce positive C, se aplica. After failing to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis, many promising product ideas are ruled out. Se da vuelta. 
how many promising product ideas are ruled out after failing to produce positive results, cabal. No, 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 es necesario dar vuelta, solo analizarlo así para identificar dónde está la cláusula independiente y dónde está la cláusula adverbial. Super bien. Ok. Keep going. Keep going with the last two. ¿Cómo vamos con el martirio, señores? ¿Cómo? Horrible. Sí, horrible. No, hombre, no se complica. Vaya, sigamos paso, paso a paso. la número tres. Voy a explicar todo de un solo. Número uno. No Debe de, debemos de buscar la cláusula adverbial. Before, after, since, o sí, while. Sí. Oh, ok, wow. número uno. <coughs> ya la Y. Va. Chivo. Segunda condición que debe de cumplirse. Okay. Solamente es posible la reducción cuando el sujeto del adverbio, de la cláusula adverbial y el de la independiente son el mismo. Vamos a ver cuál es el sujeto aquí. The product development team. ¿Y aquí? No. It. It. Ah. Vale, ya los identificamos. Ok. ¿Por qué es it? Ay, ay, ay. Ojo, ¿cuál es sí. la cláusula adverbial? Esta porque ¿qué solo porque tiene un adverbio de sí. tiempo que es after. Mm -hmm. Esta after. es una cláusula adverbial. Va. Ahí está. No la puedo decir sola porque no tiene sentido. Ok. Porque estoy dando de tiempo a la situación. Ahora, esta es una cláusula independiente, dice el, el texto. Entonces, ok. Es el mismo sujeto. Eso es lo que me importa de la cláusula independiente. Es el mismo sujeto. Va. Ya lo definí eso. Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo? Ok. Finish. Finish. Sigamos con el cuadrito y dice eliminar el sujeto en la cláusula adverbial. Ya lo eliminé. After. Sí. Y dice agregar ing. Ok. Si la cláusula tiene solamente un verbo diferente del verbo to be, agregar ing. No es el verbo to be, es finish. Ok, ya yeah, pues. After finishing, brainstorming, it is essential to discard. And that's it. ¿Ya? ¿Hoy sí? Vamos con uh... otra. Oh, finishing. Uh -huh. Vamos con otra fácil, fácil. Otra vez, ¿hay algún adver, eh, adverbio de tiempo acá? Before. 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 Ah, no. Va, ahí está el adverbio Before. de tiempo. Número dos, ¿qué hicimos allá? Comparamos sujetos. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esta oración? The, man the manager. The manager. The management. The manager, ok. Eh, ¿Y acá? Sí. Sí. Cabal. Sí. ¿Es el mismo sujeto? Yes. Sí. Sí. Yes. sí. Ok. ¿Cuál es el verbo acá? List. 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 Cabal. List. Es list. Va. List. Entonces, list. como tengo el mismo sujeto, ok. Quito el sujeto. Before listing. The weaknesses of the company, on a slide, he had presented new products to help the company increase sales. Okay. Are you see? Yeah. <laughs> okay, ¿qué es lo que estoy diciendo? Yeah, Ahí hemos le sentido, vaya. Después, después de que el equipo de desarrollo de productos terminara o termine, no, quiero ver. Ajá, termine sí, brainstorming, saca, sacando ideas. Es esencial descartar ideas que no son uh, Factible. factibles. Gracias. Factible. Factible. Vamos a ahora ING. Después de finalizar la lluvia de ideas, no dice quién. Después de finalizar la lluvia de ideas, es esencial descartar las ideas que no son factibles. Sigue teniendo sentido. Uh, uh, uh. Otra vez. Antes de que el gerente listara las debilidades de la compañía en una presentación, él había presentado nuevos productos para ayudar a la compañía a incrementar sus ventas. Después de listar 
las debilidades de la compañía en una presentación. Él había presentado nuevos productos para ayudar a la compañía a incrementar sus ventas. Sigue teniendo no. sentido. Ahora bien, y eso no se los expliqué y ya se lo voy a explicar, pero quiero ver quién le da la lógica a esto. ¿Hay un adverbio, hay un adverbio de, clave, de tiempo en esta oración? No. Um, while. While, yeah. Ahí está, muy bien. Entonces, yo puedo decir sin miedo a equivocarme, eh, esta oración por sí sola no necesita nada más. Andrew kept texting, kept text messaging. Andrew continuó mensajeando textos, mensajeando por texto. Ok. Está poniendo el dedo, es una oración normal. No necesita lo demás porque tiene sentido por sí sola. Mientras él estaba en una videoconferencia acerca del prototipo para el nuevo producto. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó mientras él estaba en una videoconferencia acerca del prototipo del nuevo producto? No tengo que decir que Andrew continuaba mensajeando textos, viendo textos. Ajá, entonces, vuelvo a hacer el mismo análisis. Sujeto. Sujeto. Es decir que la cláusula uh, no independiente, la cláusula de verbal puede ir después del independiente. No es necesario que la independiente vaya después. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ya no hay una coma que la divida. Si sí, la independiente va primero. Ok. Entonces, puedo quitar el sujeto y decir, wow, ahora bien, dice la regla que también tengo que eliminar el verbo to be. ¿Será que se puede cambiar esta oración? Hmm. ¿Qué dice? Volvamos a la lectura. Ok. If the clause has a form of the verb to be eliminated. Uh, be eliminated. If the clause has any other verb different from me at ing. Ok. Me pide eliminar el sujeto y el verbo to be. Ok. While in a video conference about the prototype for the new product, Andrew kept texting messages. ¿Tiene sentido? Sí. Mientras en una videoconferencia acerca del prototipo de un nuevo producto, Andrew continuó enviando mensajes. Tiene sentido. Y obvié el verbo to be. Ya no digo él estaba. Ahora digo mientras sí. en, en sí. una mientras en una videoconferencia. Sí, sí. Tiene sentido. Lo mismo ocurre acá. Ok. Lo mismo puede ocurrir acá. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí, está complejo el asunto, pero se puede comprender. Si lo vemos desde el sentido del español. Si yo les trato de explicar esto en inglés, créanme que. ¿Verdad? Mm. Sí, porque esto ya es más de avanzado en realidad, pero igual, eh, tenemos que desarrollarlo según el plan. Ok, vamos a regresar y vamos a hablar todo de esto, porque sí sé que todos están con el mismo uh -huh. pendiente. Ok, let's go. Yeah, ok. Alan Christopher, please give me 10 minutes of your time after the class, okay? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Like, anyway. Okay. Hey, ¿qué pasó? Todos estaban como algo ahí perdidos, ¿verdad? Me gustó el ejercicio. We, we were lost. <laughs> We was lost, hoy el otro. We were lost. We were lost. Oilo. Ok, hey, fíjense que sí, yo les estaba diciendo en el último grupo que visité, el grupo de René, que eh, definitivamente esto es un tema que no les puedo explicar en, España, eh, en inglés. Es un tema de avanzado. 
¿ok? Y aún en avanzado, son temas que honestamente las academias normales o los planes de las academias comunes obvian porque en teoría es algo que, que se ocupa solo en el ámbito profesional y pues como estamos en inglés para el trabajo, sí se puede dar. ¿Por qué? Por temas de documentos oficiales, podría ser. De, repito, el, el chiste de todo esto es no ser redundante en la redacción, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Punto número uno, identificar el sujeto, o sea, en, en ambas oraciones. Definamos dos cosas. Uno, va a empezar con un adverbio de tiempo, ¿ok? Before, after, since, while. Cualquiera de esos cuatro vas a encontrar en oración. ¿Qué oración? La cláusula que por estos cuatro se llama adverbial, porque esos son adverbios de tiempo. Ok, chivo. Número dos. Tengo que identificar el sujeto en cada una. Ah, ok. Vamos a, vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos a identificar todas las cláusulas adverbiales primero. Before. Esas son las más comunes. Ahora, en esta... Andrew kept texting messaging while. ¿Todas la identificaron? Sí. Yes. Va, ayúdenme con la cuatro entonces. Where is it? After. 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 Ok. Good. Uh, Number five. After. After. Yeah. Ok. Next. Before. 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 Va, chill. Voy a ocupar el verde para eso. Let's identify subjects. The problem. The product development team. Ok. Un sujeto. ¿Y aquí cuál es? It. It is. It. 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 Ok. Number two. The manager. Is, uh, the manager es el sujeto. Yes. Ok, good. It's a subject. Ok, good. Mm. Good. Number three. Andrew. 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 Ok. Y he. He. Okay, number four. Many girls promising. Got it. Thank you. You got it. Next. The weaknesses of a company. The weaknesses of a company. Weaknesses. Weaknesses. Okay, y aquí donde está, where is this? Mm, where is the subject on the next sentence? A careful contingent now. A careful contingency plan. Okay. 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 Next, you. Okay. And you. Bye. Me detengo aquí un segundo. ¿Qué notaron? Número uno, no hay coma en estas oraciones donde el adverbio de tiempo aparece después, a la mitad. No hay una coma. Porque al igual que en los condicionantes, al igual que en otro tipo de reglas gramaticales, la, en la cláusula adverbial puede estar después de la cláusula independiente y les decía Andrew kept text messaging Andrew seguía mensaje, mensajeando yo puedo decir eso nada más Andrew seguía mensajeando no tengo contexto pero se entiende que lo que importa es lo que estaba haciendo este tipo ok sin embargo no puedo decirte nada más mientras él estaba en una videoconferencia sobre el prototipo del nuevo producto no tiene sentido ok ahora habiendo dicho eso entonces vamos con estas dos estaban fáciles vamos con esta dice la regla que si el verbo to be está presente lo voy a remover ok ahora sí tiene sentido Andrew kept text messaging while in a video conference about the prototype for the new product ¿Tiene sentido o no? Sí. Mm, ya. Yeah. Ok, yeah. Andrew seguía mensajeando mientras en una videoconferencia acerca del prototipo del nuevo producto. Ok. 
Vamos con la siguiente. Many promising product ideas are ruled out after failing to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. Ya cambié ahí el, el, el verbo, ¿ok? ¿Por qué no lo hice aquí? ¿Por qué no hay verbo? Pero sin embargo, la preposición le da sentido. Ok. Veamos el video de nuevo para entender más esto. The weaknesses of the company can be transformed into opportunities after alleviating them. No. ¿Cómo era aquí? No, uh -huh. no this is, doesn't apply, I believe. This doesn't apply. Love it. You got it. Bien, chicos. Eso no aplica aquí porque, pero ¿por qué? Analicemos. The weaknesses of a company. They. Is not the same. Ajá, es they porque está en plural simplemente. Acuérdense. Sujetos plurales los reemplazo con sujetos plurales. Ok. Nombres plurales los reemplazo con sujetos plurales. A careful contingency plan. It. They. It, they, no matching, no me importa, entonces la regla no la puedo aplicar. Ahora bien, for you present a new idea to the manager, hay una coma incluso, entonces esta es la cláusula adverbial. Ok. You need to present a, de a detailed list of costs and benefits. Puedo decirle a alguien, necesitas presentar una lista detallada de costos y beneficios. Es una orden. Ok. Ahora bien, entonces, ¿cómo quedaría esta oración? Someone. Presenting. Before presenting a new idea to the manager. Ah, you need to present. Before presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. Before presenting. Obvio el sujeto and that's it. Que es todo el chiste de nuevo. Eliminar el, uno de los dos sujetos para evitar sonar redundante en un documento. Ok. Useful. Watch the video. Yo sé que viendo el video eh, de nuevo les va a, a como dar más idea. A ver. Okay. Una última. One last thing. Fácil. Um, Ada. Quiero ver. Carla y Janet. Las reto las dos. Vamos a ver. <risa> René. Ok. Okay. Wait, 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 okay. René, Ada, Carla, Janet, quiero ver. Before I arrive to work. Before. Mm -hmm. Before arriving. Muy right. bien, ahí está. Before arriving. Before arrive. Mm -hmm. Before, Before arrive to work. Arrive, no, René. Aquí ya modifico. No. Arrive. Arriving. Arriving to work. Mm -hmm. Eso es todo. Eliminé el sujeto y agregué ING. Before arriving to work, we need to take the bus. Antes de llegar al trabajo, necesitamos tomar el bus. Antes de nosotros llegar al trabajo, nosotros necesitamos algo. O sea, ese es el punto. Eliminar el sí. primer sujeto de ser posible. Pero, pues, pues. Ajá, René, dígame. No, no, que pensé que porque había dos verbos ahí, pero no, no, no tiene el adjetivo. Sí. Eh, work, ajá, no es, un, no está funcionando ajá. como bien, oh, me parece sí, perfecto. Sí, sí. Una confusión sí. normal, work no es solo un verbo. Acuérdense que muchos verbos tienen significado de objeto también. <coughs> uh -huh. Ok. Bad day. Ups, ya lo borré. No. Bueno. 
Ah, aquí está el verbo to be. Acuérdense de lo que decía la regla yeah. sobre el verbo to be. While okay. they were building the building, they crashed a truck. Miguel, they and where look. Quitas they and where. Yeah. Sí, yeah. Cabal, cabal. While building the building. While building the building. They crashed. They crashed a truck. Está más fácil así, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah. Es más prácticos. Y aquí re, hice esto por ejemplificar lo que decía René, miren. Building the building. Como así, teacher. Mm -hmm. Building, sujeto, digo, verbo en, en gerundio. Building, okay. objeto. No, building the building, they crash the truck. A truck. Ok. Questions? The building the question. What mm, a temple. <laughs> <Morning. laughs> yes, we needed to practice more a lot of examples. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the rent, the same rule that I heard before about. For any preposition, you need to add ing. It sounds like, yeah, it's very similar. Um, um, mm -hmm. you can, can you send the, the rule in, the, in WhatsApp, please? From the book? Mm, yes, in WhatsApp. Can you send the rules, the las reglas? Rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Es que no hay mejor manera de aprender que con ejemplos, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Pero ejemplos prácticos, ¿no? Sí. Yeah. Tan fumada la cosa que... I know, I know, I know. O sea, son tres, son una serie de cosas sencillas que hay que recordar, ¿verdad? Sí. El sujeto tiene que ser el mismo. Okay. Okay. Um, help me. Let's make some sentences together. Quiero ver, permítame, déjenme ver, analizar el plan. Ya se los envié, pero se me desconectó el WhatsApp. Eh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, prefiero que avancemos en esto y que quede claro el tema. Okay. Help me build in examples. Okay. Bien, dice la regla que tiene que ver un adverbio de tiempo. Como while, since, before, after. ¿Cuál lo ocupamos? Vámonos juntos. Ajá, Alexander, dale. Bueno. In this case, uh, I know it, I realized that some verbs are or were in past. It doesn't even matter. matter. It doesn't okay. even matter, that's right. Okay. Uh, for example, before uh, she bought a new car, she bought. Mm -hmm. She has to get a budget. She, she has has to, get to get a loan. Bien, oh. okay. A ver, ¿quién, quién, quién nos ayuda? Loan. Before she bought a new car. Before buying a new car, she has to get a loan. Okay. Uh -huh. Correcto. Y lo demás es lo mismo, ¿no? La cláusula independiente es la misma. She had to get a loan. Yo te puedo decir, ella tuvo que agarrar un préstamo. She had to get a loan. Y se entiende en el contexto todo. Lo, se entiende en el contexto todo lo demás. Before buying a new car, she had to get a loan. Ok, me parece súper bien. ¿Mm? Sí. 
Gracias. My God, no sé por qué deja de escribir esta cosa. ¿Será que se puede? Sí. Sí. I'm not really sure about the rule because the rule said that only if you is a it, you remove the verb to be. Exactly. Yeah. Since was a child. No. What was removed, no? I know you Who is since? Doesn't apply. Since the child. 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 I had come to this park. I come to this park. I coming. No, I have. Un americano come. haría esto. Since childhood, yes. I had Since come childhood. to this park. Yes, child. Child. Oh, 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 yeah. Since childhood, I had come to this park. And what is called? Ambas. Uh -huh. Since I was a child, desde que yo era un niño, okay. Y ahora digo desde mi niñez. Desde, oh. desde la, de, estoy generalizando desde la niñez yo había venido a este parque okay. ya, lo, ya lo están quitando lo están demoliendo okay. wow. since childhood I had come to this park ok, oh. les invito a que ok, ayúdenme, a ver René haga una oración, vamos a ver Ada oh. ay, oh. antes oh. ok Everybody, try it. I take a nap. Since she was a doctor. Since she was a doctor, she had to do hard work. work. Sorry, since she was a doctor, she had to? She had to hard work. work. Oh, she had to work hard. But I can say hard work works. Mm, she had I, to. I hear. Uh, she was a doctor. Uh, Denzel Washington says yes. the phrase. Uh, come again, come again. She had to hard work works. Hard work works. Uh, I, I don't trust it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to I have to hear hear the niggas have say to, it. No, have, <laughs> to, have to hard work work. Work work. Mm. Works, yeah. Work, 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 work. She had to hard work, work, work. work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pero volvemos a lo mismo, ¿no? Del verbo to be. Sí. Ahora. La cláusula puede estar después, la cláusula adverbial, la de donde ve el adverbio de tiempo y no es necesario agregar una coma en medio de la oración. 
She had to hard work work since a doctor. Since a doctor. Since a doctor. Okay. Now I understood <laughs> different uh, phrase or when I read different. Ya, yeah, es different. Ahora, eso es lo que ocurre cuando tú lees inglés americano y lees inglés británico. Porque a los británicos les encanta hacer esto. Así de sencillo. No es que sea más complejo, es que tendrías que haber nacido americano, digámoslo, para entender por qué hacen lo que hacen los británicos en sus novelas y en sus libros. Se, se, se le da más importancia a la acción que al sujeto en muchos libros británicos y en inglés es al revés. Primero va el sujeto y después la acción. ¿Ya? Sí. Ok. Bien, traten de ver el video de nuevo, traten de entender más sobre este tema y practicar haciendo oraciones, que es lo que hemos estado haciendo en los últimos minutos, ¿ok? Les dejo eso de tarea. Sí. Ok. Para que mejoren ahí. Cualquier pregunta me la hacen, ¿ok? Eh, ok, let's close this. Uh, please turn on your camera before we close the session. And I'm staying with Alan tonight. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night, Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Present, good night. Good night, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez, Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, have a wonderful Good night, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, good night. Good night, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan nice. Marcos Guzmán, good night. Present, good night. Good night, Juan Marcos. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night, Sandra. William Alexander Ramírez Flores, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. I'm waiting for the PM because the minutes. <laughs> for this <part. laughs> Wow. On what, time. What is TPM? 10 PM. Oh, I'm waiting for 10 PM. I was like, what? Wait, what is TPM? Yeah, we're missing 20 seconds actually. Uh, 18. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah, we missed like one minute sooner. It's okay. Okay, Alan Christopher. Okay. What's up, teacher? All good. What about you? What's new? No, everything relaxed. Everything fine. Kind of. Why are you so oh. tired? Yes. Yeah. Um, Why? Why are you so tired? Because Monday. Because it's Monday is the best day of the week. Mm, for me, it's the worst day of the week. Why? Because everything is, um, and I know, I'm not sure if it's, it's right, but accumulate everything is over. Just with all the weekend, uh, all the, the everything. It's uh, in Monday, everything has to be processed. It's the reason I'm completely out. 
today I, I, I really I don't want to came to the class, but um, Carolina say, hey, come on. I didn't want. Up. I didn't want to come to the class today. I, yeah. Mm, because but, we're so tired. So everything has to be processed on Mondays in the office. Okay. Because uh, Friday, everybody reports. Everybody finishing actually, finishes reporting on Friday. Actually, or? in this company, uh, Saturday and Sunday, they work like as a normal day. They have uh, the clients. Uh, uh, they produce. Um, and Sunday is the reason that we need, in my case, I have to get uh, focused and check to the schedule of the truck drivers. And they, mm. uh, that the reason that Monday, I hate Monday because everything is going to be. Wait, on time. so all of the you have to do the programming of the uh, logistics correct the programming of the logistics the schedules on monday wow yeah my brother works on la constancia he works at la constancia he has been really? working yeah he has been working there for ever since it was bifrio in santa ana you remember bifrio yeah yeah so he used to work in bifrio but then he moved to La Constancia and he has always been at the storage really? at the warehouse. Yes. And he's the guy, I... he's the guy processing every truck, you know, with cristal and everything. So all of the orders every day at night, he stays working, entering all of the orders. It's crazy. Sometimes he enters, he starts working at about 5 or 4 p.m. And he finishes his job until the next day. I worked in Industria La Constancia uh, two years ago. Really? Yeah. But I where? In Nixapa, the plant is not on on the downtown, it's outside in Nehapa. They will produce um, the, the the soda. Oh, so you worked at the plant? Yes, I work at the plant mm. in the uh, primary transportation. They say T1. Still in logistics. Yeah, still in logistics. His name is Alfredo, Roel Alfredo Linares. Sounds, sounds, sounds like yeah. he's he's a yeah. fat guy. He really? looks <laughs> he looks identical. Do you remember that movie with um what was his name? Oh my god, uh, Jim Carrey, Almighty, yeah. oh, Todo Poderoso. Where's <laughs> Almighty? The guy with the monkey on the butt. The bald yeah. guy. <laughs> my brother looks exactly like that guy, but fat. Really. Oh, that's he, he, he works in the in the Hello de Flores. No, he works in Santa Ana. He works in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, but man, he's been there for too many really? years. Yeah, too many wow. years. Yeah. Wow. He hates that Tell job, me. but it is what it is. It's difficult to find a job that you really enjoy it. I mean, I guess you don't feel the day. I mean, in a daily basis, your day goes by, right? Like, wow, it's 3 p.m. already. It's time to go. Yeah, most, most of the time, uh, I um, I have to get out of my office at four, four, uh, four and a half. But uh, most of the time, I have to go out two hours later of my normal hour. shift shift <laughs> your normal shift yeah okay and that's not over time <laughs> obviously no that's it's what really... i that's what i don't like about having a formal job you know that you have to stay i used to be a manager at an academy and I, my schedule was from 7 a.m 
to 5 p.m. But pff, every day I used to be there at 6.30 a.m. and leave my job at 7.30, 8 p.m. at night until the last class finished. I uh, used to leave the academy. Have you ever worked in a different kind of job um, teaching English? What do you mean? Uh, different academy or you mean not teaching English? Mm, different thing that is not in, related to the English. To teaching, related to teaching, teaching or, talking or English. English. Oh, yes, yes. I was a manager at, at a company. I used to build the payrolls for the Seguro Social, for FP. I was an accounting auxiliary. And I was the and manager, the manager what? assistant. And it, how it, you, you are teaching or uh, what was your motivation? To, oh, oh to because I people. love, I love helping people. So I became a teacher in 2014 when I had the opportunity. It wasn't, a, it, it's never been about the money. It's just, I, I like it. I don't know. I just like to help others um i remember the first experience i had when i realized when i realized that i that i loved this job is uh, a class when i was a coach and i was a teacher and one of my students from basic three made it to intermediate and she came back because i she had been with me for three months basic one oh, basic wow. two basic three and she was crying. Her name was Yvette. She came back after the test, you know, to see if she was applying for an intermediate. She entered the room and she just said, I made it. And she was crying. I cried, man. I cried and I hugged really? her. <laughs> I hugged her. She, she, she was so happy. I was happy. It was an old lady. It was an old lady. She was like 40 something. And I was like, wow. I mean, I was so excited and all the students were almost crying too you know like oh my god she hugged him <laughs> oh take your hand and say oh <laughs> you know and six months later she was still in contact with me and she got a job at a call center she called me i couldn't go then she called me again and I, we met we met and she gave me 50 dollars. i was like what why are you giving me money <laughs> <laughs> because hey, this, this is from my first paycheck she was like oh my god wow. you better take it and you know what i did i told her you know what let's eat something and that's it don't worry buy me something to eat and let's go let's talk <laughs> i mean i think there is uh feels amazing that i'm like, so grateful that say hey i, I i don't know how to pay you so the effort is that you need. there's no way to pay someone who helped you there's no way to help to pay someone who and helped you and tell me how, how do you uh, like to to tell a rafael or, or my uh, yeah rafael or everybody calls me tony. rafa my family is the only one called calls me tony yeah but <laughs> I, I really it in, in your in your description the whatsapp to say tony Tony, Tony, I don't know who I said, Rafael. Who's this guy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I me. know. My boss hates it. Hey, boss. Yeah, my boss doesn't like people to call me Tony because, you know, they get confused. The students get confused. And he, he told me once, why don't you change your name on WhatsApp? And I'm not changing my name on WhatsApp. That's my family business. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, in, 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 have you ever feel frustrated with a student in teaching because it, I, I think that is it's common in, i don't know i'm, I'm just uh, figuring out that it's difficult to teach people like uh, trying to say hey repeat trying to say in the best way the, the, the correct pronunciation in all the people say think 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 hey but you don't feel that no i never i never get frustrated that's me. I never get upset, frustrated. Nah, life no, is no. life, you know, and it's it goes by. I mean, it goes by. 
uh, at this point, after seven years of teaching, believe me, it's just like, they will get it someday. Whoever wants to get it, because who wants to learn will learn. And that's it. We'll do everything as possible. Ese te digo, he visto dichos que se matan así, gente que se mata de noche estudiando con tal de aprender. That's the point. I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thanks for the interview. That was nice. <laughs> it wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point. Keep talking, okay? Good night. Okay. Yeah, good night. Descansa. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.